Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can provide meeting notes in Outlook by using integrations with either OneNote 2016 or OneNote for Windows 10. Microsoft 365 or Office 365 users may need to download the OneNote 2016 app separately from Microsoft to fully take advantage of the shared meeting notes feature and Outlook integration. If you are the meeting organizer and using OneNote 2016 integrated with Outlook, then you can create or attach a meeting notes page and send a link to it to the meeting attendees to share meeting notes in a collaborative space. Separately, you can also create or attach OneNote pages to appointments and events in Outlook too for personal use, which are not shared. Note that Outlook itself does not provide meeting notes. It relies on integration with OneNote to provide this feature. Also, depending on whether users have OneNote 2016 or the OneNote for Windows 10 app, the integration with Outlook behaves differently. To attach a OneNote notebook when creating a meeting, appointment, or event in Outlook, open the Calendar folder in Outlook. Then create the Meeting Request, Appointment, or Event as normal. Then click either the Meeting, appointment or event tab of the ribbon in either the meeting, appointment, or event window if needed. What you do next depends on the version of OneNote installed with Outlook on your device. To add or create meeting notes as the meeting organizer if using OneNote 2016, then click the Meeting Notes button in the Meeting Notes button group on the related tab. Note that if this button appears within a OneNote button group on this tab of the ribbon, then your computer has OneNote for Windows 10 integrated with Outlook, and you should follow those instructions instead, or go download OneNote 2016. At this point, a pop-up window opens, asking you to either share notes with the meeting, or take notes on your own. To share meeting notes, select the Share Notes with the Meeting choice to open the Choose Notes to Share with Meeting dialog box. Here, Decide within which existing section or page of a shared notebook to attach the meeting notes by clicking it to select it. You can click the small plus signs next to the existing notebooks and sections to expand them and display their pages. Alternatively, to create a new notebook, click the New Notebook button in the lower left corner. Note that whichever notebook you select or create must be shared with the meeting invitees in OneNote. You can select a notebook in this dialog box and then click the Check Who Has Access to the Selected Notebook link at the bottom of this dialog box to open OneNote 2016 and view the current sharing settings of the notebook. You can also provide sharing access to the meeting invitees in OneNote if needed by entering their email addresses into the Type a Name or Email Address to Invite Someone field, selecting either the Can Edit or Can View choice from the drop down to the right as needed, and then clicking the Share button in OneNote 2016. You will need to do this for newly created meeting notebooks too. Back in the Choose Notes to Share with Meeting dialog box in the Outlook app, make sure you have selected the desired section or page within the shared notebook within which to create the meeting notes. Then click the OK button to insert a link to those meeting notes into the large text box in the meeting window. Any meeting invitees can click this link to open the selected section or page of meeting notes and view and or edit its contents. The link appears in the meeting request as View Meeting Notes, parenthesis web, and they can click the View Meeting Notes portion of the link to open the notes in their desktop version of OneNote. They can click the web portion of the link to open the notes in OneNote Online. Alternatively, to only take OneNote notes for yourself if using OneNote 2016, Click the Take Notes on Your Own Choice in the pop-up window that opens after you click the Meeting Notes button in the ribbon. OneNote then opens a Select Location in OneNote dialog box where you can select the section or page in which to record your personal meeting notes. 
You can navigate in this dialog box the same as you can in the Choose Notes to Share with Meeting dialog box. After making your selection, click the OK button. One note then opens and you can add notes. The appointment, event, or meeting details, like time and location, are automatically added. To remove shared notes from a meeting, open the meeting for editing in the calendar. Then click the Meeting Notes button in the Meeting Notes button group on the Meeting tab of the ribbon in the Meeting window. Then click the X icon at the right side of the name of the notebook you attached. In the Confirmation dialog box that opens, click the Remove Notes button to close the dialog box and remove the shared meeting notes from the meeting. Note that doing this doesn't delete them from OneNote. Alternatively, to add or create shared meeting notes as the meeting organizer, if using Outlook with OneNote for Windows 10, then click the Meeting Notes button in the OneNote button group on the Related tab. Then sign into the OneNote service if needed. After authentication, you can then see the available notebooks appear in the Select a Location for this meeting list in the OneNote pane that opens at the right side of the window. As you can see, with OneNote for Windows 10, this button behaves like the Take Notes on Your Own Choice does for OneNote 2016. In this pane, you can click the arrows next to each notebook to expand or collapse the sections within them. Remember that if you want the recipients of the meeting invitation to take notes on this page, then you'll need to make sure you select a shared notebook or section within a shared notebook. Otherwise, you'll need to share the selected notebook with the invitees in a moment within OneNote. Click the desired notebook or section in this pane, and then click the Save button at the bottom of the pane. After saving your choice, you can then click the Open in OneNote button that appears in the pane to open the Meeting Notes page within the selected notebook or section in OneNote Online in your default web browser to add any preliminary notes if desired. Within OneNote Online, add any initial meeting notes if desired. Then you must ensure the notebook is shared with the meeting request recipients and get the sharing link for the meeting notes, which you can then copy and paste into the meeting invitation you are about to send. To check the notebook's sharing status or to share the notebook, click the Share button in the upper right corner of the OneNote Online window to open the Share Link pane. To check the current sharing status, click the More Options button towards the upper right corner of the pane and then select the Manage Access command to open the Manage Access pane. Here you can see who can access this shared notebook. If you need to change these settings to invite new people, then click the Back button in the upper left corner of this pane to return to the Send Link pane. Then set the desired Sharing Link settings as needed within this pane and send the notebook sharing links to them via email. You can then close the Share Link pane. After access to the notebook is shared with the meeting recipients, you can then copy the link to the Meeting Notes page to direct them to the specific Meeting Notes page versus directing them to the general notebook in the meeting invitation. Doing this just manually replicates the functionality built into OneNote 2016. To do this, right-click the specific Meeting Notes page in the list of pages at the left side of the window. Then select the Copy Link to This Page command from the pop-up menu that appears. You can then close OneNote Online. Next, click into the large white text field in the Meeting Invitation window in Outlook. Type some instructional text that says something like, click this link to access the Meeting Notes. Then paste the copied link into the field next to the instructional text, or select the copied link from the Link drop-down that appears in the Links button group on the Insert tab of the ribbon in the Meeting window if it appears there. After you have accomplished this, fill out the remainder of the meeting invitation as usual, and then click the Send button to send it to the recipients. Next, let's examine how to add to the meeting notes in a received meeting request. You can access the meeting notes in the received meeting request in the inbox, or if the meeting is accepted and placed into the calendar, by double-clicking the meeting in the calendar to open the meeting window. In either place, you can then click the View Meeting Notes link in the message to open the related meeting notes page in OneNote. 
This is the best and most reliable way to open the meeting notes to add to them in a shared meeting note space. Alternatively, if you and the meeting organizer are both using OneNote 2016, then click the Meeting Notes button in the Meeting Notes button group on the Meeting Contextual tab of the ribbon. Doing that then opens the Meeting window and shows the Meeting Notes dialog box again. Click the name of the Shared Meeting Notes in this dialog box to open the Shared Meeting Notes in OneNote 2016. You can then add your notes and close both windows when finished. Note that if you click this button and you use OneNote 2016, but the meeting organizer used OneNote for Windows 10, then you will instead see a message that the organizer hasn't shared notes with this meeting in the Meeting Notes dialog box. You will then need to close this dialog box and then click the Meeting Notes link in the meeting to access the shared meeting notes instead. Also, if using OneNote for Windows 10, note that every time you click the Meeting Notes button in the OneNote button group, Outlook wants to add a new page for the selected meeting, event, or appointment into a notebook. You cannot use this button to update existing meeting notes. Like the meeting's recipients, you must also click the link that appears in the existing meeting window to open the attached meeting notes. Otherwise, you will end up creating several new note pages in OneNote for the same meeting, which can be a bother to go back and delete. This is because OneNote for Windows 10 doesn't create shared OneNote pages, so it gives you options like the Take Notes on Your Own Choice that is available for OneNote 2016 every time you use it. It is only by going into OneNote to manually share a page that you can imitate the meeting notes sharing that appears in OneNote 2016. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.